Hey, hi there guys. Um, my name is Evelogio and as you guys can know, I'm um, trying to create a video of explaining what is Mixteco, talk about my culture, either in English, Spanish, or in Mixteco. And well, today I want to respond to a question many people um, ask me is, uh, how many Mixtecos are there? Or how do you identify a Mixteco? Is it Mixteco Alto or Mixteco Bajo? Well, Mixteco Alto y Bajo, that way of identifying the language is it's kind of way off the track of how you could actually identify this language. And the reason why is, well, there's over a thousand towns that speak Mixteco from Oaxaca to Guerrero and Puebla. So there's over a thousand um, towns that speak Mixteco. And how do you know if they're Mixteco Alto y Bajo? Well, me as a Mixteco speaker, I do not even know how they, they came up with that because it, it does not work. And the reason why it does not work, like I said, is because there's a lot of towns and I could say I speak Mixteco Bajo and another person with another um, education could say, well, you speak Mixteco Alto. And it's very confusing. Trust me, it is very confusing. <laughs> and the proper way to identify these, um, the variety of the language is, well, by the hometown of that person, like me. I'm from San Juan Piñas, which is Slovaka, Oaxaca, and while well, I speak Mixteco of San Juan Piñas, I do not speak Mixteco Alto or Bajo, I speak Mixteco de San Juan Piñas. And well, even though there's so many varieties of this language, well, as like one researcher I, I read, um, he says there's a, likely over 86 varieties, like, that's a lot. And how did he categorize this um, language? Well, he categorized them by by identifying to which to which town do they understand each other. And it seems seems so much more reasonable than Mixteco Alto y Bajo. And yeah, there's probably over 86 variety, but in reality, let's just say there's. For every town there is, they have their own Mixteco. And we could understand a lot of people's Mixteco, even though they're not from our hometown. And the closer their town is to ours, we'll be able to understand them. Sometimes, no, not, not, but not at all. But most of the time, the closer the towns are, the more we understand them. The farther they are from our town, the less likely we will understand them. And sometimes a lot of words change. One word could mean one thing in one town, and that same word, same accent, could mean a whole different thing in another town. And that's that's how, how much variety in Mixteco there are. There's over a thousand towns, so there's over a thousand uh, varieties of Mixteco. Uh, Thank you for sus subscribing and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll be uploading more videos talking about um, Mixteco, my culture and any other questions you guys have, well, send me an inbox and I'll respond to them. Thank you for watching and see you soon.